When I was a child, I always dreamt about traveling the world, visiting new places, experiencing new cultures, and telling awesome stories about them. For me, there was no better way to live life than by doing that. So I spent the last three years of my life learning how to make videos and putting them on the internet. I felt working hard and providing value for people was the only hurdle I had to jump to fulfill this dream. Until I discovered that you are impeded by your Nigerian passport or by being a Nigerian. So today I'm going to dedicate this entire vlog. So today I'm going to dedicate this entire vlog to talking about my most unpleasant travel experiences across Africa. The first perception of a country that you get is majorly formed when you enter the airport of a country. It's majorly formed by how they treat you, how the place looks, how it smells, how it feels and that's what usually sticks in your mind before you enter the main country. Ethiopia is a great country, sadly their airport police are really f my trip to Ethiopia was on the 9th of April and I was really looking forward to this trip. You guys know I love traveling to multiple places all across Africa and generally sharing my experiences and showing how beautiful the place is. I've flown through it twice on my way to South Africa and also on my way to Tanzania. But during both times, I only spent one night because we usually have a stopover flight when you're flying through it. So I eventually decided that on my next trip, I was going to stop by in Ethiopia and experience it instead of just flying over so i boarded my next flight from tanzania back to ethiopia and had a stopover it was a long flight like a four hour flight i don't like flying on planes it might sound weird as somebody who travels a lot after staying for one hour on the line because it was a very long line i got to the escalator and at the bottom of the escalator were two airport police officials and this is where it really got interesting so i noticed one of them was looking at me weirdly as i was coming down the escalator i was dressed normally i wasn't wearing i was just wearing a normal sweater a jeans and normal shoe just like the way i dress in all my videos nothing too flamboyant and then the guy just called me and then he pulled me aside and then was like where are you coming from and i was like tanzania and then he said where are you from that i should show you my passport and then i showed it to him he said nigeria he said okay then he just called me and said, okay, I had to come to a room. I had to come to a room for extra checks. And I was like, okay, why am I the only one you're pulling aside? All the other people that have been passing, the white people, the people from other countries, nobody said anything about them. Why is it me? But I just didn't say anything because, you know, you have to respect police, as they always say. So they called me and then they called me to one other inner room. And they said they wanted to search me. But from the guy's demeanor and his character, it was already like... They had already given him information that this guy is uh, one terrorist or some bad guy that is coming down because he was so sure of himself and he told me to come in open my bag i told him i'm a youtuber i came here to film um, your country and also to make videos about it because i travel around africa promoting countries showcasing places and just sharing my general experience about them and then he told me open my bag zipped everything opened it up brought out my camera he told me to even open the lens of this camera I had to open the lens, remove the lens from the camera, and I was like, what's happening? After checking, checking, checking everything, like, as it was even checking, I was even afraid already, like, ah, what this is happening? Like, you know, sometimes when you didn't even do anything wrong, but when the police stops you, you are just like, suddenly like, okay, what is happening? Because from there, anything can happen. There was nothing in my bag. He checked all through, opened all the compartments of the bag, and then after that, I felt that was the end of everything. I felt, okay, and now you've checked. You didn't say anything, I'm free to go. The next thing he said was where I got the shocker. I was like, okay, we need to check your stomach for drugs. I was like, drugs? And I'm like, how do you just pick somebody out and say you just want to check for drugs out of the blue? Like, how? What did I do? And I was like, okay, you want to check for drugs? No problem. No wahala. And I was like, okay. I was thinking he was going to take me to like a machine or something. No. It was like, I need to follow him somewhere in the airport. And I was like, how? And then he was wearing gloves and i'm like okay what the fuck is happening and then we walked out from the the searching room and we went all the way through the the customs and then it took me to one very dirty ass toilet like that in the airport and then he was like i should off my trouser i had to take a shit in front of him if not i would not be allowed to go and then they will hold me to tomorrow where they will take me to a hospital where they have to do an x-ray on me to confirm if there are drugs in my stomach and i'm like 
what the actual fuck i'd been on an actual four hour flight coming all the way down to this country and i spent like one hour at the passport immigration place you can imagine you spending five hours in transit and then all you want to do is just get to your hotel and just probably sleep and then you're having to go through all of this i stayed at the airport for i think over three four hours extra after landing doing all this bullshit with this guy and i kept explaining to him i have a youtube channel this is what i do i travel around africa i make videos i he did not even want to listen he said i should not even touch my phone i think in his head he was like oh i'm, I'm communicating with somebody i'm like how do you just build a perception on somebody without even knowing the person just because the person is from nigeria and then eventually like i just had to pull off my trousers in front of him and try to force myself to take a shit in the dirty ass toilet and after that that was now when he now let me go no apology nothing guys this was one of my most humiliating travel experiences usually when i travel to a country i don't want to make a video that probably says like negative stuff but that is what happened and that's why i have this channel to share my experience with you guys whenever i go to a country and i think this is a big problem generally traveling across africa we africans that are traveling across our own country are always treated in a very terrible way most of the time and i heard this is not the first time it's happening i spoke to some other people and they said it has happened even my friend wodemaya he said it has happened to him multiple times across different countries when he's traveling to africa this is really annoying because i'm sure if i was a white guy this guy would not do all of this to me he would not even dare try it but when it's our own black people this is what happens the same thing happened in kenya too but kenya zone was even less embarrassing than this one there were two guys two airport police and then they held me and took me and one of them said i was in trouble and then they took me to a different room and then there were two of them there and they were like okay they need to search my bag and i was like okay search it and they're like oh did they find any drugs there and i'm like drugs there's no drugs inside the bag search it and they were like okay i need to give them money if not, they can always say that I, I put drugs in my back or there will suddenly be drugs in my back. And I was like, how, how, how did I get from here? Just because I'm a Nigerian, I'm just because I have this green passport. I had like $50 on me. They took the remaining $50 before they let me go. And even the cab guy, when I spoke to the cab guy that was taking me to my airport in Kenya, he told me like that, that, that that's how they do when they see a Nigerian and that it was good that I, I even allowed them to take the $50. If not, they could have made it seem like I was actually carrying drugs. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's really sad that we can't travel across our own country without facing a lot of problems. And I'm sure a lot of people are going through the same experiences, but many people don't have that voice to talk about it. And I'm glad I have a platform where I can actually share this with you guys. I think the Ethiopian government should check in with this. The Ethiopian and even the Kenyan government, they should check this well. Because Ethiopian Airlines, your biggest market are Nigerians. Like statistically, this is based on data. Your biggest market are Nigerians. And if people can really travel to East Africa without facing all of this, you people are going to lose your market share. If more news like this comes out that at the airport, People can't really pass through your country without facing all these kind of problems. Because why would you just suddenly pick out Nigerians and then put them through excessive checkups? And you don't even have machines to check people. If they took me to a machine and they were like, okay, take, walk through this machine to check if there are drugs, I'm fine. I don't have a problem with that. Like, <laughs> you're doing your job, you're just checking. It might be weird because you're only pulling over Nigerians. But why would you tell people to go to the toilet? People that have been on a trip, you know how stressful trips are naked themselves and then they have to take a shit in front of you that's really fucked up that's actually really fucked up even in essay you know i made a video recently about when i went to essay and then the police also stopped me the police also stopped me because i was a nigerian and then they arrested me and they even hit me because i was a nigerian so these are some of the things you guys don't see that happens behind the scenes whenever i travel to all these countries i have never made a video like this but like this was the height of it so i had to make a video about it and this message goes to all airport officials, all governments out there. Whenever a Nigerian is passing to your country, not all Nigerians are bad people. Not all Nigerians are drug dealers. Not all Nigerians are fraudsters. Every time you see a Nigerian, don't just suddenly assume that they're going to do bad stuff to you. Nigerians are, they are bad eggs. There are lots of people who are doing dumb stuff and yeah, fuck those people. But there are actually lots of awesome people who are doing good stuff. There are people spreading the good works of nigeria all over like bonaboy he just won a grammy how many africans have won grammys like won a grammy for his album there are lots of people out there usman the ufc wrestler he has been winning belts 
style bender. Yeah, when you think about Nigeria, you think about the good people doing stuff. There are people building startups, building companies. There are companies like Flutter Wave. There's Paystack. Nigerians are really great, really hardworking people. Once given the chance, we try to do the best we can do and try to make something good out of it. We try to make value. So not every Nigerian is bad. There are bad people from all countries. People are not bad based on their country. They are bad because they want to be bad. So don't just generalize and just feel that, oh, anybody coming from Nigeria is just a bad person. That's a very small way of thinking. If all countries were to judge people and say, oh, all people from all countries are bad, then let's have a stripper pole at all the at all the airports since we want to be stripping everybody naked. To conclude this on a more lighter note, one of the reasons I love traveling is generally to experience new places also to open people's minds to different places in the world ethiopia is a country that has so much tourist attractions there are so many nice people there their food is good the culture is also really awesome this experience almost made me not want to make a video about ethiopia but you know i have to make a, a nice video for you guys because these are just some of the roadblocks in our way but you know we'll, we'll triumph over them uh i had to just go on this rant to just share my experience with you guys about what happened to me in ethiopia when i was traveling so it's like my first rant on this channel <laughs> africa is a really dope place and we need to realize that we are more similar than we are different so thank you guys for watching that's all i have for you today and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for subscribing Ooh.